back to the channel everyone. This is Motor Mike Media and as always I'm Motor Mike and today we're going to talk about the Honda Ridgeline as well as the Toyota Tacoma. Both these trucks have their own fan bases. I personally like both these trucks for different reasons but let's talk about them. The pros, the cons, and which one's right for you. Now all the credit for these images they go to the respective manufacturers. For the Ridgeline it goes to Honda and for the Toyota Tacoma it goes to Toyota. So we'll start with the Ridgeline first and I actually made a video on the Ridgeline. It's one of my first videos ever. So if you want to, check it out after you watch this. But the Ridgeline. For 2021, it got a nice little uh, mid-cycle refresh. And I like it. We'll start with the styling real quickly. The front end. They made things a little bit more chiseled. A little bit more squared off. More truck-like, if you will. And I really like it. Nice big grill. I like the chrome bar that goes across into the headlights. The headlights are nice. Very modern. Uh, a lot of people complain that, oh, it's too much like a, a pilot. Well, it is kind of a pilot. It's the same unibody construction. And I kind of like how they all have the similar front ends, but they're all slightly tweaked and different. Side profile. Nice. I like the body lines to it. It's a truck silhouette. Uh, only comes in a four-door. You can't get a regular cab or anything like that. Uh, they change the wheel wells around, have new rims and stuff. Uh, it's more macho, more rugged. And I like how it looks. The rear end. You can get the dual exhaust now on the back, which are awesome. I think it's a nice little sport truck look. The back end is nice and chiseled. It's a very nice design. Overall, when they did the little tweaks to the outside, they made it more rugged looking, and I think the Ridgeline is a great looking truck. Going into the inside. Like I said in my previous video, materials. Very nice quality materials, soft touch. When you sit down, you're very comfortable. Uh, Honda does a great job with their seats. Nice leather wrap steering wheel in front of you. Your gauge cluster, easy to read, very nice looking. A pretty decent sized screen next to you. It's the latest and greatest from Honda. It's a very nice system. The Honda system is pretty easy to use. You have a volume knob. <laughs> it's always good to have one of those. Pretty decent feeling hard touch buttons. Overall, the interior, nice quality materials, very comfortable. This vehicle rides great. So it's not a traditional truck in the sense of the construction. It's not a body on frame doesn't have a solid uh, axle on the rear end. It's independent suspension all the way around. Unibody construction, like I said, based off the Pilot. It's very comfortable. It's the best on-road riding truck in the category. And if you're someone that doesn't really go off-road or, uh, you know, tows a whole lot, this thing can still tow, but this is a great truck for you. It's comfortable, it's smooth. You're going to work every day. It's perfect, and it can still get work done. Let's talk some hard numbers. 3.5 liter V6. It's an older design Honda engine. It has VTEC. Super reliable. It's a smooth engine. 280 horsepower. 262 pound-feet of torque. Very healthy numbers. There's no four-cylinder option. That's the one and only engine. A nine-speed automatic transmission. Uh, the base model started about 35,000. That's front-wheel drive. Uh, like I said, it's not a traditional truck, so it's not a rear-wheel drive platform. Uh, but you can get all-wheel drive as an option. It's a very good all-wheel drive system. You can tow 5,000 pounds, and your max payload is about 1,580 pounds. Very good numbers. A lot of people really don't tow heavy numbers. So this is a great truck for that person. The, the original has great features to it. It's very capable, like I said, 5,000 pounds of towing. Very good max payload. In the rear of the truck, the tailgate has two functions. It can fold down like a regular tailgate. It can swing open, allowing you easy access to the interior, or the back of the bed, I should say. You have a trunk, actually. Lockable, you can lift it up. Nice storage there. There's a drain plug. You can use it for tailgating. The interior, you can fold up the seats for a nice flat floor. It's a very functional truck. It can serve many purposes. I like to call it the switch army knife uh, of the trucks because it can do a little bit of everything. So that's that. Let's go to the Tacoma. In my opinion, this Tacoma, it is one of the best sellers in this class. It has been for a long, long time, but it is getting a little old, but it's still a great looking truck. It's more aggressive than the Ridgeline and a slightly smaller when you look at the overall dimensions of it. Let's start styling real quickly, the front end. It's a very nice front end. Obviously, as you go up the trims, the front end will change a little bit. I like the TRD Pro front end. I like how it spells out Toyota. That's old school Toyota, I like it. Uh, for 2021, I got some refreshes as well. Nice LED headlights. Uh, this truck is already pretty aggressive looking. When you have those nice LEDs, it really looks sharp. Uh, side profile, very nice body lines. I really like the Tacoma. Uh, 
You can tell that the overall cab and the floor is kind of short. Uh, it actually affects your ride quality. I'll get there in a second. Um, but it's still a very nice looking design from the sides. The rear end, traditional Toyota stuff here. I like how the taillights look. It's overall a great design. Now I talked about the ride quality. And what I mean by that is how you actually sit in the vehicle. When you sit in the vehicle, your legs are kind of stretched out instead of having an upright truck uh, position. And it kind of feels more sporty, to be honest with you. Uh, I've noticed in long distances, I get a little bit more fatigued than normal in that sitting position. Uh, for 2021, they actually added adjustments to the seats, allowing you to go up and down more, a little bit more mobility that gets yourself a little bit more comfortable. It's always a good thing. But the interior, it's a very rugged design. Uh, the materials, lots of plastics here. Uh, like I said, the Ridge Line has more premium soft touch materials in the Toyota Tacoma, more hard touch stuff. Big knobs and stuff, easy to use, nice function. Uh, the gauge cluster in front of the driver, little helper screen in the middle, uh, nice analogs on the sides, nice looking. Traditional Toyota steering wheel, good buttons on there, you can get them leather wrapped. Infotainment screen, it's all right. They've been improving it throughout the years. Now you can get Android, Apple, uh, CarPlay, all that good stuff on there. And it's a pretty good size screen, pretty good buttons below it. Uh, overall, the material quality is a little bit lackluster and compared to the Ridgeline and some of the other competition as well, but it's a good design. It's very macho, rugged looking. Uh, let's talk hard numbers now. Hard numbers on Toyota Tacoma. <laughs> Once again, another 3.5 liter V6. In this application, it has 278 horsepower, about 265 pound-feet of torque. That's paired to a six-speed automatic or a six-speed manual. So yes, if you get the automatic, it's lacking in gears compared to the Ridgeline. What's a great six-speed automatic? It wanders a little bit, uh, trying to find a gear and stuff like that, but it's robust. It's super reliable transmission, and you can get a manual. So if you don't want to worry about some of those little things, you can just shift it yourself. It's always good to have more options. Also, your max payload, it's about 1,155 pounds, and your towing is about 6,400 pounds. And obviously you have to configure it right. You can get a four-cylinder in the Toyota Tacoma, most people just kind of upgrade and get the V6. But if you get a base one, you're starting about 26,000. Like I said, the Ridgeline starts at 35. So you can get a Tacoma for about nine grand less. Uh, but once again, a base one is two wheel drive. Power goes to the rear end. Uh, overall, it's a great vehicle. I like the Toyota uh, TRD Pro myself. That one starts about 44,000. That gives you all the off-road goodies. It looks great, very sinister looking. You have the nicer interior with the leather seats and stuff like that. But it all depends on your wants and needs. In my opinion, if you're not someone that's gonna do towing or doing anything off-road really, the Ridgeline's the right vehicle for you. It's spacious, has a little bit more luxurious feeling, very smooth on the roads. But if you're someone that lives on a dirt road, likes to do off-roading more often, maybe you wanna to tow more, the Toyota is right for you. Everything comes down to your wants and your needs, and your budget too. So like I said, Toyota can come in cheaper, Ridgeline's a little bit more expensive from the get-go, but both vehicles serve kind of different purposes. What do you want? Would you rather have a little bit more comfort and tech, or would you rather have more off-road capabilities and more rugged looks? Choice is up to you. But let me know in the comments below. Out of these two trucks, which one's right for you? Would you go uh, Ridgeline or would you go Toyota Tacoma? For me personally, I lean a little bit more towards the Tacoma because I like the styling better. But if I'm not going to do off-roading, I'd go with the Ridgeline. And the Ridgeline can do some off-roading, but it just depends on your wants and needs. But if you haven't already, check out my channel. Uh, I've been trying to give you guys more and more content. We talk about cars, trucks, SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs. And please, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.